Welcome to multiplying a two-digit number with a two-digit number with Mr. Madden. That's me. Let's begin. Here's a problem that you might see and be able to use an array to help you solve. A marching band is lined up in 14 rows of 23. How many people are in the marching band? You could draw an array to help you find the answer. So step one. Draw a rectangle. We're going to draw a rectangle that is have 14 rows and 23 columns just like that. Next, we're going to divide the number of rows into tens and ones. So we're going to take the 14 rows, and we're going to think about dividing that into tens and ones. It's like taking the number and dividing it into expanded form. So 14 can be divided into 10 plus 4. So in our rectangle, we're going to separate our rectangle into 10 the pen. 10 and, and 4 single rows. So we have 10 here and 4 rows here. Step two. Next, we're going to divide the columns into tens and ones. So we're going to take our 23 columns and just like with the rows, we're going to divide it into expanded form. So expanded form 23 is made up of two tens or 20 plus three ones. So I'm going to go over here 5, 10, 15, 20. We have 20 columns, 20 marching band members, and 23 columns with marching band members. So we've divided our rectangle into four smaller rectangles. Step three, we're going to multiply and find the total in each smaller rectangle. So in this rectangle, we really have 10 rows of 20. So multiply 10, excuse my handwriting because I'm using the drawing tool with a mouse, times 10 times 20, okay, which you should be able to multiply mentally. Okay, the basic fact is 1 times 2, which is 2. And you have two zeros in the factors. So add two zeros to our product for a total of 200 squares or 200 band members in this section of the array. Then we're going to multiply our four rows each of 20, which will equal. 80 band members in this rectangle. Then we'll go over to this rectangle and we're going to multiply 10 rows of 3, which equals 30. And finally, in this corner, you can see we have 4 rows of 3. So I'll multiply 4 times 3, which equals, of course, another basic fact, 12. And here is step 4. We're going to add the total of each smaller rectangle, which we could also call 
each smaller um, rectangle's total could be called a partial product. So we have, oops, sorry, let me grab the pen here, write it out, my not so neat handwriting, 200. Smallest rectangle, we had 12 squares, plus sign, letter 1's column, letter 10's, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 10's, regroup the 100 to the 100's place, the total, 322. Of course, we go back to the problem. How many people are in the marching band? So it's 322 people are in the marching band. So you can see how drawing an array breaks your factors into smaller numbers, which make, should make it easier to multiply. And then you add all of the partial products to get your final product or the final answer. I hope that helps you, and good luck with your homework.